So we are going to use Power Chop to remove adapters and camera from these files. So let's go to the Power Chop documentation page to look at and the example command we'll use for this exercise. So this is the Power Chop GitHub page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you scroll down, you'll find the table of contents. So let's look at the quick usage examples. And then we'll see some example commands here. We are going to use this one here, the basic adapter trimming. Okay, that's what we are going to use. So I'm trying to reproduce what was given here on the Galaxy tutorial page. So that's why I'm using the basic adapter trimming. Now let's take a look again at our files. From the ls command, we can see there are four files. And so if you have four files, then you have to automate the process. Sometimes you can have hundreds of files. And so it will be better if you write a script to process the files instead of trying to write a command for each of the files. Okay, so I've already prepared a script that we can use to process these files and remove the adapters and then camera. So let's go back to the GitHub repo. I already have the script prepared on one of my GitHub repos. So let's go to that GitHub repo and then get the scripts. Okay, so this is the GitHub repo which has the scripts. So this is my metagenomics GitHub repo. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So we are going to use the script trimreads.sh. So you can download or you can just copy the commands here and then use that. So let's open this script trim underscore reads.sh. So click it and then it will be open for you here. So this is my shebang line which I use. Okay, so that um, we can use Bash as the default program to open the script or to run the script. And then I also have make that trim. So because we are going to remove adapters and camera, we need to place the output in another file. That is what I do. So the make that will create a directory for me and then I'll issue my port chop commands to process the files. So I have four commands here because I have four files here. So I first call port chop and I specify dash T four. Dash T is used to specify the number of threads. I am using four, but you can change it. You can use eight and depend on the computational power available to you. And I also have dash I to indicate the input file. And that can be found here. And then I also have dash O to specify the output file. So the outputs will be saved or stored in the trim directory. So that's why I have trimmed and then I also have this one here. You also notice that the input file and then the output file, the base names are the same. We have bulk bottom and we also have bulk bottom. But then when we come to the trimmed files, I have dot trimmed. I have a naming convention, so I use names to also describe the files. So dot trim here will let me know that these are files that have been trimmed. So that's why I have that here. And I also have that's that format to indicate the format of the file. So the output file, what format should it be? We are using fastq.gz. You can specify other formats as well. So just go to the port shop documentation page and you find all the information that you want. So this is the command. So this command will be run. Okay. And the same will be applied to the other files. So that is why I have four lines here. So one command for each file. If you have lots of samples, then this approach may be cumbersome. There are ways to kind of um, write and automate scripts and that can be used to process several files. So if you have lots of files and then you have a challenge trying to process them, you can always reach out to me and then we can work something out. My contact is in the description box. Okay, so let's go. So 
that's what we are going to do i am going to copy all the commands here and then i will paste them in another script so i'll basically what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open a file on my terminal and then i'll copy and paste this command there but you can also download the scripts okay so that one is up to you if you want to download just come to click the raw okay again let me just go back if you want to download click on the raw button here then you can right click and then go to save pages you can do that but i will want to just copy the text because it's not much so i'll just copy them And then I'll move to the terminal. So on the terminal, I'll open a file. I'll say nano trim underscore reads dot sh. You can use any text editor your choice. Very high, but I prefer nano. So I just use what uh, you want. So I'll open it and then I'll paste the text there so that is it so i have my command so i will now save the changes and then i will add execution right so i will say ch mode plus x and then i will specify the file name here so that has been done you can do an ls to check the file so this is it so now i'm going to execute this command so i'll say dot slash and then i'll indicate the file name so let's execute the scripts to process the files okay so port chop has started this work so let's wait for port chop to process all the files okay the adapter and camera remover process has been completed so you can see some text here telling you what has been done okay so we'll proceed let's clear the screen and take a look at the files that have been generated so let's do an ls and we'll see that a directory called trimmed has been created this directory contains the output files so let's ls into it so you see ls trimmed we are going to find our files here so we will proceed 